There you go, All sir. Right. There you go. All right, thank yeah. you so much. Folks, I'm here at the Game Jam South Convention and this bulk slash bundle deal of five guides is the first one that I've made of hopefully many this afternoon. So you said you've got a ton of sealed stuff here that you've priced out so I can go. Is there like, if I was able to take just every single sealed game, looks like, okay, so you've got stickers on some, but not all. You don't have any any idea the kind of number you'd want to be at for those, do you? No, but you're more than welcome to make me an offer, man. Make an offer? Okay. I'm more than willing to make Yeah, I'll, I'll try to do some uh, math in my head and see what I can come up with. Thanks. So we got a good number of Call of Duties here at 30. Got some sealed PSP, which is always cool to see. Got some Wii stuff as well. So it's honestly a pretty good mix. So all I've got to do is figure out the best number that I could be at for this whole lot, do a little bit of math, and see if the number works for both of us. All right, folks, that's what we came up with. We'll see if it's enough. Yeah. So what I came to was 340, not not including this stuff, but this and this. Doesn't include this or any of that. Uh, let's go 350. I'll do 350, yeah. Works, I appreciate it, man, thank you. All right, folks, that is bulk deal number two in the books, and we're just getting started. So the goal here, folks, is to grab as many games, huh, I don't see this one that often. That's kind of cool. As many games as I can possibly profit on in order to hopefully secure the biggest discount that we can. Oh, another GameCube back there. Not too bad. Is this DSi in good shape? It, do, it, it doesn't It doesn't have the black... Um, you, 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 the black stylus. Yeah, you know. Okay. I didn't check the microphone. Yeah, that's not bad. So, so far we've got $30, $70 in our stack. Let's definitely beef it up a little bit and maybe it'll give us a little discount. So I may also be interested in a decent number of these. I see the price tags are on the outside though, so I don't want to take them out. Oh, no, totally, totally take them out. Um, this guy for sure. Yeah, the yeah, I'll do these two as well well yep. 15 a piece on those and then i'll do the yoshi's islands and this wario land also actually you got the whole you got the whole set yep whole <laughs> trying to okay so i had 70 bucks here yep. then we had 15 15 15 15 30 so that puts us 150 i believe and then what was wario land 20 so 170 sticker what do you think you could do on this little handful right now 155? Yeah. All right, I'll go ahead and do that. Thank you. So, you, so most of these are most of these priced, or did you have an idea in mind if I just bought the whole stack? Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I don't buy a ton of Wii U stuff normally, but I'm I'm definitely open to it. Like, if you're looking to move it, or if you'd rather keep the stack, that's totally fine. I'll move it. I mean, what are you thinking on? How many titles do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of them. Would you consider ten a piece? So one thirty. Would you do one forty on? Titles? I'll do one forty. Sure, why not? So folks, the story on this lot is at 11 bucks a piece, honestly, a good number of them I'll probably lose money on. What? A bunch will be kind of break even, but this one I'll be able to make a little bit of money on and Mario and Sonic I'll be able to make a good amount of money on. This is like a 50 plus dollar game on Amazon. It'll be like 70 or so. So this game alone will be pretty much all of the profit of the lot. And I think just about all of this will be a wash. One niche that I'm trying to learn a little bit better is the like Game Boy and Game Boy Advance stuff. I know that a lot of this like super popular Mario, Mario, Mario games or like a Pokemon, that kind of stuff can actually do really well on Amazon if it's in nice shape. So I'm going to put together a little bit of a stack of these and see if we can work a deal. All right. So got a little pile here. I found four Game Boy ones. Okay. This guy, this one didn't have a price. So I was interested to see what you could do on this little bundle here. Uh, oh, potentially. Actually, maybe this one too. Unless this is just comes with the console. We, we just put it in there, but we can put another one. We okay. Have like four or five copies of that. Oh, okay. So if you want to I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that I missed those. <laughs> well, I'll buy as many as you want. I normally pay 15. We'll do 15 a piece on all of those. Okay. Yeah, awesome. We can do that. This one I've been paying 15 for as well. If you're interested. We can do 15 for that. One. Okay. This one, honestly, 13 is fine. Okay. On these, if you would do five off a piece, would that work? Deal. All right. Appreciate sounds it. great. Appreciate you. Let's shake on that. All right. Appreciate sounds you. great. Yes, sir. All right.
right, folks, so this is actually a different kind of bulk deal that we're doing out here. Got two bins of like filler titles that I brought with me all the way in Eustace, the U-Haul from Kentucky. And I've got with me none other than the king and queen of whatnot here, What's Corbin up? and Amy. You guys may know them from their channel, Cheap Finds Gold Mines, but uh, they're looking to pick up some whatnot inventory today that I can't actually sell on Amazon. So I said, why the heck not? Oh, I forgot. We do have some like guides and stuff down in there too. Dead to Rights, Halo, oh, Resident Evil 5. That's a decent one. So we're fully aware this is all lower end items. Nothing yep. is crazy. Yeah. But about $12 and under is, is about the, exactly. the range of items here. This is a fight stick, a Sega fight stick. Those do actually very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's some there's some solid stuff. There's a lot of stuff that. Okay. Also, don't be deceived by these. These are like like fabrication DS lights. They work, but I don't think I don't know if the innards are authentic and they're just reshelled or they're just completely fake. I don't know, but that's weird. Yeah. But yeah, folks, I mean, where I'm at with these is like, I just, I don't really want to come home with these bins. I'm going to hopefully have a decent amount of inventory in here apart from all of this stuff that I brought. So I'd love to just sell this all to you guys. I'd love for you guys to make some money on it too. What do you think about like 70 bucks a bin? 70 bucks a bin. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How could I deny that? <laughs> yeah, dude. There's probably, I don't know, maybe 40 or so. There's definitely, there's more than 40 in here. I don't know how many there are in there, but honestly, we've done a lot of business in the past. Yeah. So I'm uh, I'm happy to do that and hopefully you guys can make some yeah. solid money. I do have some stuff for trade if you want to take a look at it. Oh, let's look at it. All. Let's look at it for sure. So we got a little bit of a little bit of trade value here, Pokemon Silver. If you want to do like 30 bucks in value for that, since it's we don't know if the battery in it is good or not. Uh, so that'll bring us down to 110 cash plus this in trade. Sounds great. If I could buy all three of these, what do you think you would be at price-wise? I was asking $80. Yeah. I don't know how much you can get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably probably around that after fees. If you would do 60 a piece, yeah, it'd be 180. I could do 200. I would I would think on that. With no chargers, that's a little bit of an extra cost. Um, I mean, I could ship them to you. I, you would have to trust me, but I could ship them to you. And you would like pay for the shipping and yeah, stuff? That, yeah. Okay, if you could if you could do the chargers yeah, with like them. Box. Yeah, I, I'd do the 200 then. All right, folks, exact same strategy here, trying to put together as much stuff as we possibly can to create the most compelling case for a discount with this vendor. Crypto's Rage is pretty good. Ooh, Radiata Stories, 40 bucks. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. Who you guys know, love those collection games. Seems like it might be missing a manual or two, but looking at that 41 and this is 20, so that's pretty solid. We'll go ahead and do a couple of these gents as well. All right, so on these guys, I'm all, I'm pretty close on all of them. If you would knock off five a piece, I have between like 20 and $40. That'd be great. Thank you. Can yeah. Can I check it out maybe? Yeah. And it's got the original controller and everything. Yeah, original controller. I actually bought that one new. That was the one I bought new off the shelf. Man, you really uh, kept all the inserts and everything with yeah, this. Man, yeah, that, I mean, that wear's not bad. Yeah, it's not, it's not horrible. Okay. Uh, you had 220 on it. Would 200 be okay? I'll do 200 for you. Okay. Well, thank you. Does it have the like Gears of War with it? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's okay. just console and controller and box. Kept all the inserts on this one too, I see. Controller power brick. Okay. Honestly, it, it looks pretty good. I, I trust you on it. Uh, and, and yeah, 70 would be great. Well, folks, these consoles as well were a great deal. Uh, honestly, you really don't find Xbox Ones for $70 very much at all. And special edition consoles do great on Amazon. So I think on these, I should be able to make at least 100 bucks a piece, which is fantastic. So did you have an idea? Like, if I could buy all the Super Nintendo stuff, what you'd be looking for? Like, I can buy anything at the right price. 330 for... Okay, so where I'd likely be looking at like the condition and stuff and yeah, that one's pretty dirty. <laughs> yeah, so I can I can definitely pick and choose if that's easier to to take everything. I, I think I could probably be at 200 if that's a little bit below his range and it'd be better for me to just you know go onesie twosie then I can do that as well. All right, so these three 
So I'm gonna show you guys what editing is actually like. I'm editing this video. Caleb doesn't tell me after that, that he didn't go with the deal. He didn't get anything. So I'm sitting here wondering, did, did, did he get the Super Nintendo games? I, well, I don't know. He never said anything. I'm looking around. I'm this is what editing life is like. I gotta sit here and look. Okay, he's not at that booth yet. He's still, okay, maybe he's just not gonna get there. So maybe I should just go back and, and edit, delete that whole part out that I just edited because clearly he's not gonna go get it. He didn't tell me anything. There's, I have no cues, no nothing. So I keep searching. Anything, anything, anything. Nope, still not the guy. And at this point you think, okay, well, I should just go back, delete that whole part I edited. Again, I just said that, but you gotta do it because he's clearly not going back. Crawl, crawl, grub, grub, boring. Come on, okay, anything. Oh, look, back at the booth now. He wanted to be a 250 for what's left. I, I, yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to make it work at 250. Like, I try to be like fairly fair. There's just, there's some stuff here that I won't be able to do a lot with is the only thing. It's totally up to, I don't want to squeeze people more than they're comfortable with, you know? If that's the case, then I'll just pick out the ones that I'm most interested in. Yeah, if you'll, if you'll let me know on each of these what that was, I can kind of... Okay. He says go for it. He says go for it at 210? Okay. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, so these three are yes. stickered at 90. Yes. What do you think you could do for me? <laughs> okay, give us a good shout out and I'll give you these two for the sticker price and throw that one in. Okay, yeah, that works for me. Shout out again to Upstate Games for hooking me up with three games, nothing but the best for Upstate. I am very cheap with my shout outs, folks. <laughs> it doesn't take, <laughs> all it takes is a $20 Thank DS you. game. <laughs> Thank you. All right, up, how much for everything on the table? Oh, uh, we're <laughs> at that point in the night? Well, we've got less than an hour left. Probably feel pretty good to leave with nothing, right? <laughs> Yeah, I need you to I need you to take them off my hands. Uh, the systems? Yeah. Oh man. Those are some good. some big boys. You said a little crusty? <laughs> just uh just the outside. Day. What about this guy? It's got 50 on it right now. I feel like 40 on it. Good condition? Yeah. I'll do 40 on that. All right. Well, <laughs> fine. Look at it, you see. Okay, a little bit a little bit scratchy. I'll probably pass on that, but that's all right. But yeah, on these, I think, uh, are, is the condition pretty solid on both of them? Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Yeah. And they have chargers. Yep. I could I could do both if you want to do 60 a piece. Cool. Well, that's a good thing to get the ball rolling, right, for this whole table purchase that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, some of the Super Nintendo stuff? Like, uh, like I know I'm interested in this guy. Probably, eh, maybe this one. I'm not opposed to taking the stack, depending on what you want to do. We can, we can look at it. Okay, but let me ask this. I mean, you've got pretty much everything here is in the range that I like to be in price-wise. So, like, if I if I bought all these cartridges, like, if we took a percentage of sticker, what, do you, what would you be comfortable with? Probably. 15 percent well i'll be i'll probably be a little bit choosier then i've got i've got a little cartridge stack here for you i'm just gonna rapid fire hit you with my best offer and you can just say yes or no fighting Force 64 i can do 25 sure can do 20 on new tetris sure mario kart i can do 25 and pokemon pearl i could be at 50. Okay, appreciate it. I think that's probably gonna do it for me on this table. What's the total? 320. 320, awesome. Well, I appreciate you working with me so much. <sighs> Folks, I'm gonna level with you. I've been up since six today, didn't eat breakfast or lunch, filmed three videos and spent, I think, close to 10K. I don't know how much I spent in this bulk deal video. Uh riff my man could you maybe could you maybe calculate that like go back through the footage and calculate that for me bro that, that'd be pretty cool of you no thank you for doing that dude i really appreciate that folks undeniably an incredibly successful day despite the fact that i'm getting a little bit hangry right now coming away with one two three four five bags full of video games this is going to keep my resale business occupied for like a solid few weeks now if i'm being totally honest was it worth bringing in the U-Haul rather than Priusilla? Honestly, probably not. I think I could have crammed the majority of this stuff into the Prius. So lesson learned for next time. Stick with small, high dollar items, and I think I'm going to be able to make it work with the Prius in the future. Believe it or not, it's incredibly hot in here, and I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to suffer some heat stroke. So thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna link a video of another video game conference experience right down here from Siege last year. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys on the flip.